This is obviously the crucial question of our time. First of all, the health side of things, being a medical doctor helps a great deal and knowing that we've got to defeat the virus. We've got to control the virus. And we've said that from the very first appearance of COVID in BC in March of this year. There will be a vaccine at some point. And what we've got to do is be very responsible as a society and show respect for each other by taking the measures uh, indicated by Dr. Henry to control the virus and prevent it from spreading. That's the first part. The second part is we're gonna to have to band together and make sure we're able to stick through this uh, pandemic and get things done. The first step in that is K-12 education where we've said it's very important to have hybrid or online learning. We already know that universities and colleges have moved that way. My own daughter is doing fourth year university from home, which is a very unusual experience, but it is working. It's not the best, but it's far better than the alternative, which is simply abandoning education. So we've got to provide those online supports for education all the way from primary school right through the end of university. And thirdly, we've got to start to plan for how our economy will recover from this afterwards. Most of you will know that restaurants, hotels, tourism attractions are having a terrible time with huge losses of jobs, particularly amongst women in small companies at the lower end of the wage scale. We've got to provide the kind of childcare that will allow them to get back into the workplace. And that's kind of our goal for this whole pandemic economic recovery is to make sure that everybody gets a chance to get ahead, not just the people who've been able to afford to get through it. 